right, so Julie King here today with David Cohen, and David Cohen runs Technicolor Umbrella and uh, host of an online radio show called the Small Business Big Ideas Show. And so you're here today at the Small Business Forum uh, run by Enterprise Toronto at the Convention Centre, and you're going to be doing a panel at 1.30 today on? On uh, selling lessons from the trenches, sales lessons from actors actual entrepreneurs that are out there in the field and selling today is, is, is a challenge and you know uh, people are, are a lot more careful with how they're spending their money and there's a lot more competition as you probably see in your business so we're gonna we're gonna give some really good juicy tips and and strategies on how to to be more effective when selling I, that's exactly the type of thing I'm interested in hearing because so much stuff is theoretical but let's talk about in the trenches if you were just getting started what's the top two tips you would give to someone who's struggling online offline social media where do they begin? That's a great question. The two, first two tips is number one, know yourself. Know your value and, and what you bring to the table. How do you help people? And really get clear on that. And the other thing that's really important is know the niche market. Like don't, don't cast a wide net, cast a narrow net. So go after a sector or a segment of the marketplace. And those are the, I think, the two most important things you can do starting out. You know, I think that's excellent advice because a lot of entrepreneurs, they think, I, get, I don't want to turn business away, so they try to be generalist, and then they end up not getting customers. Exactly. Because if you focus on a niche, people are going to know you, and the right people are going to come to you, right? So if you, I've got a friend of mine who does yoga, right? She teaches yoga. And yoga, everybody could do yoga. So what she's done is she's carved a niche for herself. She's called it yoga for round bodies, and she does yoga classes for plus-size women. So she owns that category. There's nobody else touching her in the city. So it's really creative, you know. That is a neat idea because, yeah, the downward dog, if yeah. you're a plus-size woman, not exactly a comfortable no. pose. And you're not seeing a plus-size woman at, you know, Good Life Fitness, like where I like to go work out. You're not seeing a plus-size woman come into a gym like that because they feel a little self-conscious. But here at, 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 at my friend and Tina's place, you know, they can go do yoga and, and they're not so self-conscious. They're with, like, other people who, you know, have the same body type kind of thing. Okay, so that's our tip for our brand new business. What is the advice you would have for a business that's been in business for a while, maybe hasn't realized that a pivot's necessary or that everything's changing around them and that their market's changing? What should that business be doing? Okay, this is, I, I'm going to sound like a throwback, and I am. Um, I think get offline, shut your computer out, down, and go mix and mingle, like coming to a trade show, or walk around the town, or go meet people, or make calls. Just engage with people. Like, you've really got to build relationships, and you can't build relationships so easily online. That takes an inordinate amount of time to do that. So you really have to build, you know, in-person, personalized relationships. So I think that's the most important thing. Shut the computer off and go and make your calls, go and network, go and schmooze and go and meet people firsthand. Okay, last question, and then I'm going to give you a chance to plug your okay. online radio show. Um, there was a study out recently, and there was criticism that the Canadian small business spends too much time on marketing and sales, mm -hmm. and because they're disconnecting that from customer service, and they're not realizing the role excellent customer service and a focus on optimizing customer service right. can have. What do you have to say to that? Well, I, I think that, that that's exactly true. I think um, customer service should be part of your marketing and sales strategy so it's it's definitely integrated one of the things that I, I teach I do sales training workshops one of the things that I teach and coach my clients on is to maintain that relationship after that sales made because your best client your best source of referrals is are the clients you have it costs a lot of time and money to go get a new client nurture the ones you got you know and stay close to them uh, get their names contact them on occasion send them a newsletter have a lunch with them have a planning session get to really nurture that relationship if you look at like the the most uh, best-selling books last year three of them were about customer service G uh, Gary Vaynerchuk right the thank you economy um, Guy Kawasaki uh, enchantment and there is another book I, I forgot off but there's another one that I like by Jack Mitchell called hug your customer so customer service is really critical and nurturing those relationships once you have them is going to really be a key to success too
Yeah, I totally agree. And it's the 80-20 to it mm -hmm. rule as well because, yeah. you know, 20% of our customers are going to account for 80% of our revenue. So let's service the heck out of those exactly. and know who they are. Yeah, and, and know, know them personally. Like Harvey McKay, uh, author of Swim with the Sharks, he does a McKay 66. He asks 66 questions of each of his customers. So they really get to, you know, he really gets to know them. He says, I know more about my customers than the IRS. So he, it's the personal touches, it's that personal relationships, it's getting out and meeting people that's going to really contribute to your success. Okay, so David, I want you to tell our audience now okay. about your radio show. Okay, it's an online radio show. It's heard every Monday night on RadioThatDoesn'tSuck.com, which is an online radio station. And then I also podcast it as well at SmallBusinessBigIdeas.com slash podcast. And we interview really great you know, experts and speakers and, and people. And I hope I have you on this year, Julie, so to return the favor. Is that cool? That's absolutely cool. I look forward to it. Okay, and we don't have to look so nice when we're on radio. But. That's a great thing about radio. All right, thank you so much for this. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, look forward to, uh, to following this up. I hope so.